Hello there, nail babes. How's it going? I'm just enjoying my Saturday indoors because it's, you know, typical Florida weather, hot, humid, equivalent to Satan's armpit. So I'm going to be here today showing you guys a few things to do with uh, Profile's new art inks. We got about eight colors. They're freaking sweet. And I'm really excited to show you guys some stuff. Okay, so let's get started. All right, guys, so this is gonna be the first nail I'm gonna show you with our art inks, the cute little flower, right? And I've already prepped the tip. I um, did two coats of our super polish pink marshmallow from Profiles. Just a really nice, super light pink, almost white. And then I finished it with a matte top coat. Um, non-white. I guess it doesn't really matter if it's white or not. You could probably use any matte top coat. I think the matte just allows um, the pigments to work a little bit better, the inks to work a, bit, a little bit better. Okay, so we're gonna start with Plum for our bottom three petals down here. Okay, and as you can see, my battle wounds. Just be careful. Either the ink is messy or I'm messy, but nobody knows for sure, you know? So just fair warning, be careful. You really wanna tap out all that excess ink in the brush, just so you don't have a disaster on your hands and make sure it's uh, not in the way of being hit. And you're going to start with the top petal and really just make a circle and the less ink you have on your brush, the better, because it is going to be a disaster. It will start to run like it's supposed to, but we wanna keep it more confined into these petals, okay? So we got the first petal, and we're gonna kinda of do a little triangle. We're gonna do two on the bottom and then one on the top. So, of course, it was hot and sunny two minutes ago, and now we're having a thunderstorm, so sorry if you can hear the thunder. I'm just kind of keeping the brush on the nail and rubbing in circles. And you don't really have to go back in for much more ink because you don't want it running all over the place. You kind of do want to keep it confined, even if the petals are a little messy. That's okay. No flower's perfect, right? Okay, so we're gonna put the lid back on that so I don't have another disaster. And I'm gonna go in with my art brush. I like it because of the tip. It allows me to kind of get in there a little bit better. And instead of alcohol, I'm going to use acetone. It breaks it up a little bit better. So we're gonna go in, make sure it's not super saturated. I'm just gonna go in and stick the tip of the brush in the center of the first petal and kind of just small circular mo mo uh, motions. Just gonna kind of keep it on the inward. We want that outside ring still, okay? So we're just gonna go in, we're gonna do that again. You don't really need too much. It's pretty, it does, it does the job for you, you know? Work smarter, not harder. Okay, so we got that. It's looking good, looking good. Now we're gonna go in with grape. I believe this is grape, yeah, grape. And we're gonna do the two top petals with this. So once again, make sure there, there's not a ton of excess ink on your brush. And then just kind of go in and same, same moment, mov movements, kind of overlap it a little with those two petals right there. Then go on this side. Give that a little petal action. Okay. Put that back 
Mm. Then we're gonna do the same thing. Go into your acetone, center of the petal, and kind of just push outward. You can rub, you can tap, whatever feels right to you. Just make sure there's not too much acetone. Because you wanna keep that outer, out that outline of the petal still good. So yeah, like that. And then you can come back and go on the outside of the petal and with the tip of your brush pretty dry just kind of line that outer petal. It kind of creates a little shadow. And then you see like how I have that gap there? Kind of hate that. So I'm gonna go back in with my darker color pretty dry. I'm just gonna add a little. Come back in, wipe it out a little. Go around the outside, clean it up. Doesn't have to be perfect, you know? So that looks pretty good so far. Now we're gonna go in and do a little detail. Take my palette here and I'm gonna just use the art liners from Profiles. I'm gonna do a little, little black, a little white. Too. I'm going to take my daughter. I'm going to go in with the black first. And just do bloop, 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 a couple little dots. No rhyme or reason. Just to create the center of that flower. We're gonna go back in with some white, not too much, and just highlight it. If you put too much white, just go back in with black and go right on over it. Okay. Now, isn't that cute? Now you can do, I mean, you could do a million of these. You could do them off the side of the nail. You could do, Whatever you want, you can add little details with a white liner. We can add, let's add a leaf. So I'm gonna take our green. It, this is avocado, I believe. I'm gonna open this bad boy. And we're gonna very dry, work with the brush very dry and kind of just do a little, a little blob there, if you will. And then go back in and cl just clean it up. Stick the tip of the brush in the center. Kind of just opens it up a little bit. Add another one, dry brush. So fun, right? Makes the watercolor way easier than you think it would be. Just go down the center so you get that outline. And then, like I said, you can go back with a gel and really detail it, really highlight the petals if you want, highlight the leaves, 
whatever you really want. Put it on a pretty sweet background. All right, and there you have it. We're gonna top coat it with our Outshine. Outshine is the bee's knees. It's the best top coat for your artwork, I feel like. It's a non-wipe and it's really, it's like cushy. I feel like it keeps that artwork under there without it peeling, the top coat peeling or chipping, because that's a really big pain in the butt, especially if you're in the salon. You don't want your clients coming back, you know, every week, oh, my polish chipped. So, there we go. Looks good. I'm gonna cure that. All right, now that we did that, that's what the finished product is. It's pretty cute. So the next one we're gonna do is this little pattern. It's just a little rainbow gradient with some chrome on top. Just something fun and different that you can do. So I'm gonna start with the same base here. And I'm going to start with the middle, um, the middle line right here, just to kind of give me a little bit of a starting point to where to base my other colors. So once again, I can't say this enough, just work dry. You, the less is more, you don't need as much as you would think you do. And if you think you have too much, tap it out on your tail or your towel. So I'm gonna start at one corner, lightly trickle to one corner, go down to this side, little triangle. I'm gonna go in our acetone. And I like to start by wiping the inside out first, kind of fading it, fading it, shading it, you see? I'm not really lifting my brush. Just keep it on there, keep it in a downward motion. Okay, and then we're gonna go back in. The tip of the brush, just run alongside that outer line. and it helps to give that vein in the back to define it. And dry with the acetone too. You don't want the stuff going all over the place. Kind of looks like a little lightning bolt or something. All right, line one. Now I'm gonna go in with, let's do tangerine. It's like a burnt orange. I'm go in, same, same deal. Go in and out. I'm gonna take the inside, just fade that out. And go back in with the tip of your brush. Try and hold it at an your brush at an upright angle so you're not hitting that back line there and messing that up. So there. Now we're gonna go in with lemon, a little yellow. Hit that there, same. Very repetitive, but kinda gotta pay attention to what you're doing so you, you don't have too much on and then it's just not what you were looking for. Just hit the middle of that on the outside. Define it. There's so many things you could do with this art ink. Of course, the main non no-brainer would be the marbleizing, the marble nail. Um, but why have one product and only know how to do one thing with it? 
and just play with it. Just, you know, come up with whatever you can. If you guys do come up with something awesome, please upload it to Profiles, Profiles Backstage Facebook page so we can see. We love to see new things. Because we all, we all are creative. We all come up with different concepts. As you can see, it's a little hard for me to talk and work. All right, so I like the way that's looking. It's looking pretty sweet. So we're gonna go, I'm gonna go in with uh, a darker purple and take it on this back side here. And there. Nothing has to be perfect. I am really bad with thinking that I made one mistake and the whole project is ruined. I'm kind of a perfectionist. I'm really trying to learn how not to be and how to work from my mistakes and see the beauty and everything because it is art. Art doesn't have to be perfect. So I'll just go in. Outline that vein. Then I'm gonna go in with one more color just to fill that space. I'm gonna go in with our blueberry. And just put it right here. Maybe a little drizzle right there. Well, that thunder's bad. Hit it there. Come in. All right, so I'm pretty happy with this. It's looking pretty solid. So that's fun. I mean, and how long did that take, you know? If I wasn't talking, it probably wouldn't have taken me so long. But something just fun to add to your database, your uh, arsenal of artwork. And it looks like it took so much time, but really, it was a no-brainer. So I'm gonna top coat it with our outshine and I'm gonna put some chrome over this. So I'm going to top coat it and then we are going to severely under cure it. I'm talking like five seconds. You really want that chrome to stick on there and it's best when the top, when the outshine is under cured. So I'd say like five to 10 seconds and we're gonna take the rainbow, you know, everyone's fave open that bad boy up and with the chrome less is always more these puppies aren't cheap so i want to really try and conserve our product just wipe it on there you can put any chrome over this you could put our opal the rainbow it's just gives it a little extra a little something something and then I'm gonna finish it off with the outshine. And then we are done. And with this last coat, you want the full cure. I usually do 90 seconds. And if it comes out and it's a little tacky, throw it back in there. Okay. All right, and here's our finished product. Pretty happy with that, looks pretty cool. And you don't have to leave it, you don't have to stop here. You could add a stamping pattern over it, you could do a little 3D art over it. Honestly, let your mind run wild because it's all about creativity, okay? So I hope that this video helped to show a couple of different ways to use our inks. And I hope to see some of your photos uploaded to our Profiles Backstage Facebook page. All right, everybody have a great day.